My name is Steve Baskoff, and I'm with the Digital Scholarship and Communications Office of the Jean and Alexander Hurd Libraries of Vanderbilt University. This lesson is a follow-up to the lesson on the t-test of means, and in it we're going to look at transformations and non-parametric alternatives to the t-test. If you found your way to this lesson by some means other than our lesson landing page, you should know that this is a part of a series of lessons called Code Graph. To learn more about that series, you can go to vanderbilt.lt slash codegraph. We are going to see how we can transform data that are not normally distributed so that those data will be able to meet the requirements for having a valid t-test of means. We'll pick up with this R script where we left off last week. Last week, we were using some data from a cockroach electro retinogram experiment. And we'll start off by loading the tidy R library so that we can turn the data into the correct form and also the dip layer library because we're going to need to pull some data out using the transmute or mutate function. So we'll read the data frame in. This data frame is not in the correct format to be tidy data. It's in columns with column headers. So we need to use the pivot longer command. I don't know whether I ever mentioned this before, but it is possible to put parts of a function on separate lines if they're uh, separated by columns. And this allows you to be able to see more clearly what the different attributes are that are being passed into the function. So I will go ahead and run that. The tidy data now has a grouping variable column for the color and the voltage instead of being in two columns is now in one. In order to determine whether they're normally distributed, we need to pull out the red. So I'm going to filter by all of the rows in the color column that have a value of red. And we can see that here, only the rows that are red are present. Let's take a look at a histogram. Uh, ooh, that doesn't look very normal. And if we do a normal quanto or QQ plot, we can see that it is not a straight line, it's actually a curve. So both the normal quanto plot and the histogram, which is like skewed pretty far to the right, um, seem to be an indication that the data are not normally distributed. If we run the Shapiro-Wilk test, we can see that the p-value p is much less than 0.05. So this is significantly non-normal. We can repeat the process with the blue, pull out all the blue columns, create a histogram. This is even more skewed than the red column was, which we can also see in the normal quanto plot where it's quite sharply curved, not at all a straight line. And again, the Shapiro test indicates that it's highly significantly different from normal. 